Yes, they are. We're able to use a traditional walkthrough where we ask the clients to come with us and visit the homes. We have to take safety precautions when we do it to meet the standards of social distancing and disinfecting. But then also we're able to use social technology such as FaceTime where we can go to home, they don't have to come through with me, they may be in a different state or different area, and I can walk through the house, videotape the whole thing, have a conversation with them as we're going through it, and get very detailed. Now we also do virtual home tours, uh, videotape of the house, and when we do the FaceTime, then we can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation just like they're in the home. And have you done quite a few of those? Yes, actually my last three transactions that I've done have all been by FaceTime. My clients, even though some have been in different parts of the state or here in town, they feel it as safety for me to do the FaceTime video, and then they can still ask me every question and we can tour the entire house. And have they been pretty understanding about the Yes, circumstances? the media and the news has let them know that this is a precaution that we need to take now, and it's worked out wonderfully. It's just like they're in the house. Great. Um, so another question would be like, how are you selling homes while maintaining safe practices? I know you have uh, like the FaceTime. Are you guys doing any other, have you made any other modifications? Right. So when we do visit a home where we do have the clients with us, we have to take the precautions. We do wear rubber gloves, the face masks, we bring disinfectants with us, and also Clorox wipes because um, we will touch door handles to go into a property, but we do ask the sellers in advance to turn all the lights on in the house. We don't have to touch any light switches. We ask them to remove any pets they have in the house so we don't have a dog being friendly with the kids or anything like this. Now also, when we go to show a house, I will ask my clients, the buyers, to maybe just be the husband and wife or the single person coming with us and maybe leave the kids at home so they're not running around the house touching because you know kids are hard to control sometimes and they'll want to play with the pet if it's there so that precaution we just like to have the principal parties involved when we go to show our house okay makes sense um has getting a mortgage changed or the process of getting a mortgage change uh, throughout this pandemic mortgage have the market has stayed stable and the rates have stayed low i will say that with the current job situations that they have tightened their controls on them a little bit, but you can still get a mortgage. Now, some of the mortgages are larger mortgages are a little harder to get, but that middle of the market, first time home buyers, that's still a very vibrant market right now. So um, it does take a little longer to close in a house. Our typical closing used to be 30 to 45 days. I would count on 45 to 60 days to close on a house now. Okay, um, and what are some pros and cons to buying or selling a home right now? The market is still very good. Rapid City has remained very stable. Um, we have some sellers who have decided to keep their home off the market until the pandemic ends. However, those who do have their homes on the market are seeing great success in selling their houses. Our homes have kept their market value. I haven't seen a decrease in the market at all. In fact, if you compare March of this year with March of last year, we actually had a 12% increase in the housing market. Mm -hmm. Wow, I don't think a lot of people realize that. No, That's you know, the, the news unfortunately is negative out there. Mm -hmm. um, and with the current situation where people have had to close restaurants or retail, um, one thing to remember is that that market typically was in the rental market. The housing market has still stayed very strong. Okay. Um, do you have any predictions about what the housing market will look like after all of this is done? Typically our market increases when we get into late spring. And so we're just now hitting that and people will be putting their homes on the market as soon as the pandemic ends. Uh, like I said before, our market's always been stable. New construction is still moving forward and Rapid City itself has a great opportunity moving forward because we will have a lot of jobs coming with the new base expansion and the hospital expansion. So we are seeing what I predict to be a growth market come possibly in the late second or third quarter. Okay, and then have you guys seen an increase or decrease in people buying homes just in general? Or has it been pretty stable? Our market's still been stable here in Rapid City. Um, we're lucky we maybe don't get caught up in all the media and we are more conservative and still keep a steady market. Okay, and is there anything else that you would like to add? Any comments? While you're home, don't be afraid to watch the market. Get on realtor.com, look at homes. I think that's what a lot of the market has been. People who are at home have 
gotten a little tired of the news and are looking for other things to look at. And we're seeing people that are looking at realtor.com or the market itself and look at houses. There's plenty of houses out there. So take advantage of it. Great. Um, oh, I guess I do have one more question. I'm sorry. Has, have you seen like prices go down on homes because of all of this? No, absolutely not. Actually, prices have remained stable throughout the entire market. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. That's, that's good. That's good. Okay. That's all I have.